Um, just because my knees were hurting for two days doesn't mean anything, okay? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, James. And today I want to talk about my first Gay Berlin darkroom experience. It was so incredible. Oh my god. But first I have to mention that because this is YouTube, I can't say or do anything X-rated. Um, so I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna keep it all PG-13 for you guys. Um, I do sell a Gay Berlin travel guide on my blog, which is www.designinglife.biz. I'll leave the, the link in the description below. Also, I wrote down all of my Berlin darkroom stories and I put it in my Berlin guide. So if you're looking for tips on how to talk to guys versus how to hook up with guys or or just a general sense of what goes down in the dark rooms in Berlin, um, I talk about every dark room I hit up and what um, I saw, what happened, what to expect, juicy details, every little thing that went down. Like seriously, I have had people email me and tell me, oh my God, this is not just a guide. It's fantastic and they use it for other purposes too. <laughs> anyway, so um, I will leave the link to my guide in the description as well. Go ahead and check it out. It is $8 per guide. Once you pay, um, a page opens up and you can download it. Um, it is powered by Stripe. Stripe is um, kind of like PayPal. It's owned by, um, it's PayPal's competition basically. Um, so it's very secure and encrypted and all that stuff. Um, so if you want to go ahead and buy it, go do it and you'll be supporting my website. All of the guys that have purchased my guide, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me and to keeping Designing Life alive. So you guys are awesome. I've been to Berlin many times, but this particular time I decided, oh, I should check out the gay bars because I've been to Berlin many times and I've never done the gay bars before. So I thought, okay, let's go. And at uh, this time, um, I was meeting friends the, the next day. So I had one day to kind of um, explore on my own and just kind of see if, I don't know, if this place is great, maybe I can take them there, whatever, right? So. So I go to this place and it's two for one beer specials and it's pretty cool, it's pretty crowded. And so I grab a beer and I sit down, you know, near the back or whatever, cause I'm there by myself. So I don't know anybody. I don't know the people are nice. I don't know how to talk to people. I learned all this while I was there, of course. I talk about this in my guide, but, um, so I sit down and I'm sipping my, my drink and there's this guy sitting next to me and he's in like, he kind of looks like he just got off of his motorcycle. He had a motorcycle jacket on and, um, he's talking to a friend and so he turns to me and he's like, oh, hey, are you a tourist? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I am. And I'm like, hey, I'm James. He introduces himself and um, he's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a local. I, um, I, I lived here all my life. Um, I love it here. Um, so we start chatting and he's really cool. And he noticed that there is a store like in the back and it had a, a, a black curtain so you couldn't see through it. And I kept noticing that guys would go in and out and I, I noticed especially there was this one guy who I saw him go in, in there like five times and I was like, like, what's happening? My new friend noticed that I was looking and he's like, oh, like, what are you looking at? And I'm like, oh, I'm looking at that back door. And he's like, oh, that's the dark room. And I'm like, the what? He's like, the dark room. And I'm like, oh, what's that? And he's like, oh, that's, that's you know, here in, in Berlin and, and many places in Europe, they have a dark room at, in the gay bars. So if you're interested, if you meet a guy, you can take him to the back, to the dark room and you guys can hook up without having to take them home and all that stuff. So I was like, oh my God, that's pretty awesome. So then he um, he's like, here, finish your drink and um, I'll hold your spot so nobody sits here and you go, you go in and check it out. And I was like, are you sure? Like, I'm gonna be like leaving you here. I don't wanna, you know, I just made a friend and I don't wanna be rude. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, seriously, like I'm, I'm chatting here with my buddies, you go check it out. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I go and I just, I just want to do a walkthrough because I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. So I go and I walk through the curtain. And mind you, you know, right when you walk through the curtain, there's still a little bit of light that goes through, you know, from the actual bar. Um, so you can see a little bit like right as you walk in and it was 
I mean, I've never been in one before, so it was very strange for me. And you walk down this long hallway, and right as, a, as you're walking down the long hallway, there's, hallway, there's these little, like, little rooms, like, going, you know, side to side. And I see this guy, like, he's crouched down, and he's looking. And I'm like, what's he looking at? Like, did he, did he lose something? <laughs> um, so, I was like, okay, I don't know what's happening, but whatever. I'm going to keep on going. So, I keep walking, and I'm walking. And right as I um, get to the end of the hallway, there's like a, a right-hand turn, and then there is another right-hand turn. It's, it's a pretty small space. But then I, I go down go down this hallway, and now it's pitch black. Like, I cannot see anything. It might as well be like that movie Bird Box with Sandra Bullock, and they can't, you know, they have like the blindfold on. Because I'm like this. I'm walking. I might as well have my eyes closed. I'm walking like this. And I'm, I'm walking very slowly because I don't know how many people there are. I can't, I literally cannot see anything. So I don't want to step on anybody. I don't know if people are like, on the floor. I have no idea. I don't want to, I don't want to like get kicked out for like accidentally stepping on someone or, or I have no, I don't know, you know? So I'm like being really careful here. So I'm, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in the back, I'm in the back. And so I'm fine. I'm like this. And so finally I, 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 I touched something and I'm like, what, what's this? You know, and I, I didn't say it out loud, but I started, started feeling and it was somebody's chest. And I'm like, oh, it's some guy just standing there. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, hot, whatever. So then I, I kind of take a step back and as I, step, as I take a step back, there's literally somebody behind me. So I kind of turn around to see who that person is to see, even though I can't see. But as I turn, I bump into somebody next to me on this side. So I'm like, oh shit, okay. So I turn this way because I'm kind of stuck in, in, in this, this side. So I turn this way and there is somebody on this side too. And I'm like, whoa, I'm surrounded by these men and I think I know what they want. <laughs> so, so here's where I have to kind of um, not give you all of the X-rated details because it's um, YouTube. But I did write them down on my on my gay Berlin travel guide. So um, I think if you're interested in reading that story and reading other stories of other gay bars and how things went down with me and my friends, people I met, all that stuff, I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it. And I, I think you will. After that day, my, you know, my friends from San Francisco were meeting me the next day. So I told them about about this place and I told them about the dark room and I told them how everything went down and literally now to this day they're like when I go visit them in San Francisco they're like hey slut you need knee pads <laughs> and I'm like um just because my knees were hurting for two days doesn't mean anything okay mm. <laughs> anyway okay so I hope you enjoyed this story please give me a thumbs up um share this video and if you're interested in buying my gay travel blog, link is below. Um, I update it um, as many times as possible. I do one big full update every year at the beginning of the year. So I just updated it for 2021. Link is below. Um, it really supports my blog. Um, share this video with people who love to travel. Um, if you want to know more stories, uh, leave me a comment. Um, I will chat with you guys later, okay? Bye.